the King Street project was deemed a success at some point here. Do you think it's as successful as it can be right now? No, it is not. It was very successful the first year or two that it started. And then COVID happened. Everything got messed up. Cars aren't allowed to drive through some intersections on King Street, where TTC vehicles moving tens of thousands of daily riders are the priority. But it seems some motorists aren't following the law, and the latest data shows traveling on a streetcar through this downtown corridor is as bad or worse than it was before the pilot began in 2017. This car should not be on that lane, so he's stopping them. Right? Oh, good. So why do you think this is happening? Why do you think people are breaking the rules here on King Street? Yeah, it's very clear. The, maybe the signage wasn't clear enough. Mayor Chow says change is on the way, but it won't be a quick fix. New traffic signs are coming. And 10 traffic agents are being deployed to direct traffic along King Street at five intersections between 12 and 7 p.m. The problem was the enforcement. The traffic signal is not as clear. And we didn't have these traffic wardens that are out there directing traffic. And, and we weren't ticketing enough. Cars that are illegally on the street, they shouldn't be on it, uh, are just blocking, blocking the streetcar, blocking traffic. So the King Street project, there's a lot of horns blaring here. Are you hearing the frustrations from people? Oh gosh, the, the congestion is really difficult. But uh, I need more and more people taking streetcar. The more people taking public transit, the less congestion there would be, right? We're fixing the problem. You see these people, the traffic warden, they are doing their job. It'll be a lot better, especially come spring. The King Street pilot was made permanent in April 2019. Since then, police have issued more than 22,000 tickets to drivers. But Chow says she hopes traffic agents aren't the only solution to improving enforcement along King Street. And at what point do you think you won't need them anymore? Once on we King have Street. cameras. Once we have cameras, then when people start getting their tickets, they go, oh no. <laughs> How quick do you think that can happen to get the cameras going well, on? Well, that's up to the provincial government. As soon as the provincial government said yes, then we can install them. In early 2024, the city is set to release data on King Street, considering a number of variables, including how many vehicles are breaking the law. For City News, I'm Faisal Ni.